I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip magazine. Do you think she has any real friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? <laughs> Welcome to This Bed We Made. It is a mystery type of game where you play as a hotel worker in the 1950s where you, you know, do usual things like make people's beds, clean up the room, etc. All while rummaging through their things and trying to solve this mystery that takes place and we'll find out more as we play. I played the demo of this uh, some months back and I enjoyed it. I was looking forward to the release and here it is, November 1st. Here we go. Let's new game it. I also love that, that there is voice acting in this game, which is very nice. This game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Proceed with caution. They're scaring us We're already off the bat. Oh no, choices matter here. Hello. Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. Ooh, Sophie. You can't do too much. Yeah, we can move, but we can't interact with anything. Are we going to jail? Are we going to be here to testify? It's on your Ooh. right. Here. Yeah, no. No, we're about, about to have an interview. So is it this room? No. Then why is it that you were I can't turn the... What the freak? Well, can't turn the camera. Um, okay. All right, we can't. Okay, I guess we're. Guess this is how it is. Guess we're going in here. All right. Good luck. Good luck. What happened? She's all yours, Did sir. Does snooping get us in trouble? Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see, 21 years old, working at the Clarington for over a year. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. Mm. No father? No, it's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. I guess we're going to be telling the story. Low birth games. This is their first game. And it looks to be a good one. The ratings are mostly positive. It's in the 90s on Steam. That's pretty good. 50s in color. You gotta love it. Pretty interesting concept for this game. Hope that isn't copyright. Now just a bit of tidying up and I can go on break. Alright, now we can move the camera. Let's tidy up, let's clean. Put that back. Uh, literally every piece of detail will can come back to bite us if uh, make the bed. Okay. Literally making the bed. Nice. A bed's not complete without its pillow. Its pillow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The TV there. See, this is the uh, customer stuff that we can look through if we want to, which we probably will. Clean up the room. Uh -huh. Let's look. Right That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? You're more than a friend to us. Yours interest. Mm. Hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Maples. Resort to these lines of communication. Our client and your neighbor, the owner of uh, the ultimate evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts. Debt collectors. Just inspecting. Nothing in there. You're not going to find any laptops in this area. Like her voice is synced up with the radio. Like she's really there. And in the moment. That's some good attention to detail. What? He won't clean that for some reason. What else is out of the ordinary? Okay. Uh, Weaky clean. Scrub it clean. There we go. Okay, get that little soap scum off here. And voila, good as new. Nice. Brush there, I guess we can keep it. I guess the song's over now. We can't clean it. Nothing behind the door. I wonder why they covered up the mirror. Has to be a reason in here yep please clean this room do not disturb each room has a safe guess we can't close okay press and hold to confirm exit not exiting yet I think we're good This plot. I'm guessing you've seen better days, but you're obviously still important to someone. This one's in better condition. And I think we're good to go. Side. Oh no, check this out. Yeah, this person owes a lot of debt, huh? Alright, I think we're good. Start this game off proper. Very cinematic. Me out. Imagine 
imagine all the weirdos who'll start hanging around the hotel. <laughs> I can think of someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip magazine. Do you think she has any real friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? She was wearing the same clothes. Wearing the same clothes. This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. <laughs> Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. One of our friends here. Beth. We going to her for a lot of advice. Keys. Press Q to hear Sophie's thoughts. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. It does. Mm, now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? This so I wonder what she wants. To be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Newspaper. Remember in the demo I had issues reading these. Let's see. Now they added this, so that's better. Actual text. And by trouble breeding, I mean scrolling down the newspaper. Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning up the reception hall after a ball. Even if they did draw the show. Oops. Mm -mm. Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, to get to meet. who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, Gossiping. in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Uh, okay, here we go. You said you needed me? Oh, straight to business then. Sorry, mm -hmm. it's just a busy day. I get it. It's been non-stop for me this morning, too. Want to guess why I summoned you here? Uh, no. I'm really bad at guessing games. It doesn't have to be a good guess. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. I... I don't know. Please just tell me. Uh, well, if I can't make you work for it. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. Want me to clean up a bars? Eat open journal. So, uh, chats with Beth are always a highlight. Clean up a mess by one of the guests. Too bad bar maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Okay. Are you in the break room? Haunted Hotel.
Okay. Here it is. Bernard is the manager. Linda. Mindy. Jacques. We have a fam. But we gotta do what we gotta do. <clears throat> that smell. If only we we're allowed in there. Chocolate mousse cake. Maybe Bobby wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Ugh, no. Bernard would have both our heads. Hmm. Okay. Thing else we can interact with before doing the main thing. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. No to divorce. Piano. Can we open that? There's something so peaceful about looking out at a storm. From the inside. <laughs> Where it's warm. And dry. My rag isn't getting me enough for a mess like this. Better get a mop. I'm gonna get him up soon. All right, let's go do this. Week. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. We can't. Um... Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her, and huh, not just guests, apparently. Oh God, damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job after Time all. Time to snoop. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that Ooh. be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. Talking about I, getting I was, Wendy fired. I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? This no, is our other person. I, I heard something and I Hey, hey, hey. That we interact. It's okay. With. I'm just pulling your leg. I'm I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just I I'm not used to having people around me while I'm I I'm going to ask. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I'm going to think these two think are going to the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Be love interest. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Uh No, Beth called me. A guest knocked over a vase and made a mess in the lobby. Yeah, I saw that catastrophe happen. Just what we need, huh? Well, I'd rather be doing that than cleaning the reception hall with Nicole. Oof. Yeah, I don't even want to see the state of the place after this weekend. I know chocolate fountains are for dipping, but I didn't expect to find someone's shoe in there. Oof. How? <laughs> no idea. You must see plenty doing, of weird stuff too, right? They were doing yeah. more than that. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest room? Oh god. Uh. Mm, a few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> what? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Hmm? Oh, I, uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. Help. I need to, um. Yeah, yeah all right. Take care. You too. Awkward interactions. Endless letters of advice from Raymond. Raymond? What have you got? Ah, he wants you to lower room prices. Make sure Can I see you open the door? Accessible to everyone. Beth said there was a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office. And, the could be and there it is. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. What's this? Stairs, exercise. Elevator, convenient. Yeah, elevator wins this time. Yes, it is. 
Let's see what we got in here. Hammer. We got the mop. That's what we need. But all this other stuff. Signs of the time. Just interested to see. Like the stuff they might have had back in the day. There's a lot of stuff going on. What is that noise? Okay, Sophie. Time to clean up that mess. Andrew's ambush. So Andrew got me eavesdropping. And seeing that kind of judge. It's actually quite nice. He's dot too. I get a chance to talk to him more. I get the sense that there's a lot more to him than he willingly shows. So yeah, he is. I think he likes you, but we'll find out. I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay, let's well, clean this shade up. That sounds a bit. Shut up. Uh, let's inspect it. Ew. I better throw that away. Oh, yeah. This A film, film roll. The guest must have that. dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Pick it up. Clean up the Clean it up. This area but Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. That wasn't finished. All right, done is done. Maybe Beth remembers who knocked over the vase. He'll want his film roll back. Lost and found. I usually keep lost items at the front desk, but bringing it back myself. Okay, it would take a few minutes. I don't even know how I would go about doing I that. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already, but... Yeah, which room is he in? No, that's very... So... Which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Well, you're welcome hmm. to speak to my manager if you'd like. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Spade. Oh, he's in 505, it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, well, right here. That, you have to talk to my manager's manager. Room 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Noise. Yes. Thank you, Beth. Yes, certainly. So first, we'll return I suggest it. finding a... I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Then you clasp your hands together and think really hard about... It's a lot of different paths I think you can take in this game. Uh, caught it. Hold it, please. Andrew. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... Uh, I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, oh damn. I'm sorry. I, I probably should have cleaned that. Oh, no, no. It, it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? 
Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. Well, now he's gonna be a limping son of a gun. What's the big rush? I didn't know we had to I mop need to up. bring this to our VIP guest, the one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes Drink I wonder it. if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. This is a slow elevator. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Ooh, saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait, is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. It's probably a big mystery dude. That's where we need to go, right? I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway. Is this the demo, I think? Yeah, I think this is the demo. When the demo starts. This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. Yeah, this is the demo. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard seems to think so. Yep. They literally changed what was bad in the demo. And that was uh, scrolling to read that. So they really improved that part. That's the only issue I really had with it. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. That's where we gotta go, but we could have gone this. We couldn't go this way during the uh, demo. So yo yo, frosted pops. Let's see what's down here. Oh no, the, the voice shite again. End of the line. Hmm, I think I have all the supplies I need. You do. Big storm out there. Oh, there's a car. The cars are out and about. Okay. Didn't get to come down here in the demo. Not so much to do anyway. All right, just wanted to explore a bit. But yeah, we're gonna hand over this film roll. We're gonna save that for the next part. This bed we made, folks, and it looks like he's not in even in there. The door is kind of cracked. But yeah, this bed we made. We're gonna pick it up here in a bit. I'm enjoying it.